Share new innovations with us. Learn innovation. Enjoy knowledge. Know new trends. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะเอฟริสสวัสดีนะคะ The listeners out there and the audience from our Facebook as well, welcome to PSU Hajai to Global Business. My name is Ajahn Nana. And I'm Ajahn Anu. And I'm Ajahn Kim. And of course, we have special guest Ajahn Kim. Hi. Hey, welcome Ajahn Kim. Thank you for having me here. We are so oh. happy to have you here. Finally. Long overdue. Long overdue. <laughs> A few years of right. time already Thank because you. I really love your, uh, you know, your profile and experience and everything. Today definitely we're gonna be a fruitful one because you're gonna share pretty much about something really close to us is the SME, the activities that contribute to our SME community. Naka, all right. Without further ado, let me actually share everybody about what's happening to our faculty first. Di mi ka? Yes. First thing first, I would like to just share something that always um, pleasant to hear. <laughs> first, it's about the awards that we normally have every month. I'm telling you, every episode we always share about what what we have for the award. The award I n o w i n g out because our PSU staff and student always have a high recognition in all sort of dimension, all sort of industries. And one of them this time is a PSU Quality Award. Ah, in Thai they call it. Ah, from the way to the path of Mahavirai Songkhan k r i n g Oh, wow! This Quality Award is a stage that um, we presenting the project like a poster, like a poster project, Ha Jan, and we won. Two awards. Well done to our team. I mean, the faculty team. Thai, our faculty team. Ha, we send the ah, ผลงานนะคะ It's sorry, I have to say in Thai. แนวปฏิบัติการป้องกันการทุจริตของการสอบวัดความรู้ภาษาอังกฤษออนไลน์ของคณะวิทยาการจัดการค่ะ Well done. ค่ะ Well done. Hmm. So and another one is about the ah, ตลาดนัด This also is the greatest best practice. We got nominated and we won for this. This um, award pretty much like a like a quality award that looking at the quality assurance, ha, um, like um, trying to the every project have aim, ha, to reduce the amount of time how they organize the event with like a with um specific limited time, uh, mm-hmm. improve the efficiency. And uh, how they operate and process with the limited time and budgeted and resources. So we 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 pretty much achieve that, and we pretty much uh, uh, consider like a one of the showcase of all. No, so these two events um, consider like um, best practice or one of the best I think. Like a no of others too. Other faculty also have this nomination too. So congratulations for. Organizers for those who lead in this project too, na ka, yes. yay! I think we deserve it. We deserve it because we have been working on this for such a long period mm. of time. And right. as you mentioned it, because it's the quality assurance, right? So it's right. great we got this prize. Chai right. ka. Next thing that we have to recognize ka is. อาจารย์เอาอาจารย์นะเอาแฟกตี้เอาแฟกตี้เมมเบอร์อาจารย์ from marketing marketing do you know who he actually uh won not consider won like uh, consider like uh, being certified certified by PSU TPSF นะคะ as a fellow teacher ค่ะอาจารย์ลพัทสวัสดิ์สุขผลกุนัน congratulation to อาจารย์ลพัทสวัสดิ์He being certified as a fellow teacher, นะคะ as the first level of Daru Ajahn. Not easy, นะคะใช่ไหมคะอาจารย์อาจารย์ That's correct. That's is it's not easy to get that. Right. <laughs> Because you have to collect all those portfolio that you're being, you know, like um giving a great teaching uh experience, learning uh uh like providing a technique, teaching technique. And innovation, you know how he can actually convey the 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 lessons to the student in innovative way, and he has to have a strong portfolio in order to being certified in this position. So 
big congrats yay นะคะ many award เนาะ every month เนาะ we have somebody to win something like this and last but not least for the award first นะคะ last but not least our student also being selected to um to be a student speaker in the World Tourism Day 2021 Wow, student name นะคะคยานีนะคะน้องคยานีน้องน้องอ๋อ from Mice Management Program นะคะ she being nominated and she is one of the uh, country representative ah uh, country representative of eight other country as well beside like uh, beside uh, Thailand we have uh, uh, America Vietnam uh, Philippines Indonesia Brilliant. and many others. So we one of them um, quite proud of our students. Huh? Not easy because they, they chose the student who have a knowledge, naha knowledge and English speaking skill as well. So very, very proud of her. And I hope that next round can be um, other students as well, naha from our our faculty, definitely. <laughs> naha. So this is the um to be recognized naha, those who be uh, being uh, uh achieve um the excellent in top level of the awardee or you know being recognized as in you know like a nominator in a country as well and not just that our faculty also organized numerous of training session for past months <laughs> because of the um, the new platform, like an online platform, allow us to easily conduct um, the training, online training session, Jimeha. We also have, uh, this is a, just a quick um, update to you guys. We also have like a, a short training for the executive. Na? We call like a, sorry, I have to actually uh, ex uh, telling you about the name in Thai. Na? The short training, Chat Oprom Laksud Raya San, Kan Triam Kwam Pom Kamun, Pia Kan Nam Sanil Kong Pubrihan, Pia Pum Pasiti Pak, Bukala Kon Kong Krom Wicha, Kan Kase Naka. So this one is a training for, of course, Pupaka for the industry's personnel. And of course, we all always organize this kind of academic service to our um to our community nakha, this sort of short training beside that we also have other training as well which is organized by ajana no ajana no share to us as well what activity you have done for past two weeks Ka, ajana no. two weeks ago yes so yes. two weeks ago um our faculty um or our faculty um, hired a reactor school which is based in in singapore to conduct uh, entrepreneurship training with our fourth year students. The three day, three day intensive course uh, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, teaching and training the students, um, teaching them these new, these new contemporary uh, entrepreneurship techniques specifically based on how to conduct business online via social media channels and so forth. And um, we were very, I say we, our students were very lucky to have them actually. Um, as trainers, as um, this time, we, we're living in pretty uncertain times and specifically our fourth year students are quite stressed out <laughs> when it comes to uh, graduation and what they're going to do after graduation. So we, we thought that we will get a company in because it's reactors actually a startup, startup company by themselves um, that um, is being run by, by very successful entrepreneurs. So we thought it would be good for our students to actually learn from these entrepreneurs and how to kind of how to actually uh, pick up these new uh, capabilities and skills when it comes to entrepreneurship and actually starting a new venture. Now, I must say it was, um, I was there for, for most of it or the majority of the course and it was, it was intense, but the students really learned a lot. I, I received some really good feedback from it. And um, I'm just really happy that we were able to give our students the opportunity to do these type of trainees before they graduate in the next few months. So no, um, for me my, myself i'm quite proud that we were able that we were able to to actually um, to actually do this yes and actually gave them that opportunity and i i'm very much looking forward to actually inviting them back and hopefully sign, signing an mou within the next few weeks and so that they can actually conduct more session with not only our bba students but the students from our other programs as well i also like to say that um, your students i know from the bba program the english program always deliver such a quality of the project you know whatever we we gather the student to do the student just take in you know they can just you know be able to actually do anything and this platform from the actor is pretty much like a simulation entrepreneurship right well actually it's more than a simulation 
presentation, they actually were doing full on marketing research during the during the training course. They yeah. actually went out, sent out sur surveys that were able to talk to potential target markets. It was not only a simulation, it was actually yeah. real life. And um, they were uh, they gave them the opportunity as well to actually follow through and continue with this. As some of our students were invited for to um, Reactor School's uh, demo day, with, 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 which uh, which is. Um, going to be held within the next two weeks or so to actually pitch the ideas to real venture capitalists, which I think is an amazing opportunity coming up for them in the next two weeks. Mm. Two weeks or three weeks, I think. <laughs> so, Mirha, this is one of the example what FMS actually tried to create a great platform for mm. our students. Me, next thing that I like also to share that uh, our TCAS, nah, TCAS, Kamlang Pert, Lap Samak. <laughs> This is just for the um, that listening to our radio now. What you have to see, this is a good example that what Ajahn Arno and other lecturers try to provide to the student, not only in class activities that we are traditional, but Laudung partner, partner agency, partner, university partner to actually deliver such a many great project and platform make the student pretty much work and practice like a real life anecdote, you know, make sure that student really experience the real thing. Mm. Although it's online, cannot stop us now, people. Mm -hmm. FMS still can do, you know, people, you know. So this is something that I want to call in. TCAS Kongkan Pert Lap Samak Nang Saam Mai. Pijarana na kha, toni kalang pert na kha. Pijarana na kha, wa FMS Faculty of Management Science really gonna be one of the choice, your choice na kha, to consider if you want you want your children, you want your relative, na kha, ka kuh pipa na a na kha, kon puti fang na kha, we always provide platform ให้กับนักศึกษาเออนักเรียนนักศึกษานะคะในทุกรูปแบบไม่ว่าจะเป็นสถานการณ์ไหนเราพลิกได้หมดโอเคนะคะ Online, online, go tam da ha. Very effective, nah. No? This is a great example of effective learning that BBA pen program nung kong lao na ha. The BBA die sir hang kap tu kon tong ni na ha. So then, pizza na kong kan ber lap samak ma lao chi kas hok ha ma lao na ha. Rao cha ber kota lap samak niya tang sam roi pa sip hok thi nang sam lap lap thi nung lap thi two. Lao ko lap thi two jami ha roi hok. 516 ที่นั่งนะคะส่วนรอบที่ที่นั่งฉะนั้นรีบๆนะคะ because เพราะว่าทั้งพวกประเทศฟังเราอยู่ณตอนนี้เชื่อว่านักศึกษาควรที่จะพิจารณาท่านผู้ปกครองพิจารณาคณะเรานะคะแล้วก็นอนเดเล
Joshua. I'm from Nigeria. สวัสดีครับ My name is p a t u m p o p o n d o d I'm from Thailand. Hello, uh, my name is Dana. I'm come from Cambodia. Hello, my name is Hadi h a y i b a n u m You can call me dear. I'm from Thailand. My name is Kim Long. Come from Cambodia. Because this university is one of the top 10 u n i v e r s i t y in Thailand, that provide a high quality of education. Professor, are professional with a research skill, and for the student here, are friendly and kind. There are good environment in the classroom because teachers are very kind and friendly, and have good quality of teaching. Vocab you want to point in, you know. You have to... This time, this time it's so basic that everyone will be able to pick it up, right? It's like entrepreneur, venture, investor, net, <laughs> networking, and outsourcing. I make sure that I that I don't uh, that I that I make sure that I don't use words that are a little bit too complex or a little bit too difficult. Please not not surprise me, you know. Okay, okay. don't no worry. <laughs> networking, we we'll give what you networking. What, what, what's going to happen now is I'm going to pretty much just go through five different words related to SMEs and entrepreneurship, and then I'll give the definition of each word, and then I'll ask one of you to give to deliver input on what this word means or how, how this phrase is related related to, say for example, entrepreneurship or small business management. All right. Okay. Yeah. Or I'll you or ask you to give an example sentence. Not this I'm just saying the example sentence that you provide here, okay? No, no, no problem. <laughs> but this is, yeah, yeah we'll, you'll see. We'll, it'll be just discussion based, discussion based again, pretty much. All right, okay. All right, All right. All right. okay. Yeah. Okay. Whenever you're ready, I don't know. Go All right. So, um, welcome back, everyone, to the second part of our, of our Hot Yeti Global Business Program. Um, as per usual, we'll go through the English English vocab vocabulary and also phrases. This time, it will be related to SMEs, small and medium enterprises, small business, and entrepreneurship. Um, three terms that are very much valued in the Thai economy, and um, I think um, it's important that our listeners know these terms in English. All right, so let's get, let's get started. Word they'll be look at, looking at is one that we pretty much use maybe five to six times a day. Um, in this faculty, which is the word entrepreneur. Now, what is the definition of the word entrepreneur? 
entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is an individual who creates a new business, bearing most of the risks and enjoying most of the rewards. Now, Pigam, when you hear the word entrepreneur, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Just like you said. No, just, just like I said. No, no. Um, yeah, that's that's correct. I think I think we need to highlight the word um, uh, that you just said: the um, bearing most of the risk and enjoying the most of the rewards. Because the person who are decided to be an entrepreneur is the person who had already evaluated what happenings, you know, and already see the opportunities in what is happening at that moment. Um, even though there are some, you know, obstacles or problems or even the pandemic outbreaks like this, mm -hmm. the entrepreneur be the person who see the opportunities. So actually, you know, doing something, creating values and creating rewards in return. Mm -hmm. So, but rewards, what I'm, what I'm saying here, it doesn't always mean money. In mm. return, it could be you know the benefit to societies. It could be a benefit to their teamwork. But somehow they have achieved something and get the rewards in return. And and that is what I think about. That's, I think that is a perfect explanation of it. I couldn't you couldn't have been more correct when it comes to that. It's exactly what it is. When I think about entrepreneurship, I think about creating value, creating value for key stakeholders, um, specifically those very close, close related to your business, which might be your employees, your community members, and so on, great value for those around. So that reward is not necessarily only for you as an entrepreneur, entrepreneur but those around you. Yes? All right, good. Thank you very much, Ajanano. Now opening the one and only first in Southern Thailand, Master of Business Administration, International Program, Faculty of Management Science, Prince of Songkhla University, Hat Yai Campus. We provide a strong foundation in business administration with concentration in business management, business in ASEAN countries, finance, marketing, and any relevant business management. Studying at our MBA International Program, you will experience close relationship with professors and classmates from around the world. For more information, visit our website www.imba.fmspsu.com or call us at 082-661-6600. Welcome back with me at the game cup in this talk. So uh, actually previous program, we invite a lot of uh, business person to share the experience to, to, to our audience and we get a lot of knowledge and, and experience from, from, from those people. However, nowadays we have a team of coach who have a very uh, high experience to develop the new SME in the southern part of Thailand, more than five years. And we think that this coach team, they're going to have a very good and high knowledge, especially about in the practical world to uh, sharing the information with our audience too. So from now on, I would like to welcome uh, all of our, our audience to the SME series that uh, we're gonna invite the SME coach team who have a very high experience in developing a new SME in the South Pass of Thailand, more than five years, as, as I said. So they will come to share the knowledge and experience start with the head of the project today. Woo! Welcome, Atan Kem. <laughs> So, then, Dan, could you please introduce yourself for a little bit? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, thank you very much for, for the invitation. I mean, this is the first time I'm doing something like this. Um, I had an experience in radio's um, interview before, but it's not like this at all. It is fun, and I'm happy to be here. Um, like I just came said that I'm working and I'm the head of the team who doing the um, project to to help training the entrepreneurs in southern part of Thailand. And we have been doing that for almost five years now. Um, I would say I would call myself a practitioner academic because mm -hmm. I kind of, you know, working in academic world, but also have a practitioner's um, experience in the real world and, and get to deal with the entrepreneurs. So I, I would call myself that, so you know, practitioner academic. Yeah, and I, I'm, right, right. I'm, I'm happy to be here to share some of my thoughts because I think I'm, I'm in between 
both worlds because some people say that okay academic it's all about text it's all about knowledge it's all about theories but actually these both worlds are fitting you know practitioners um world and also the academic world they are somehow need to work together more right? yeah, right. so we, the reason why there's so many academic out, content out there when it comes to smes and entrepreneurship yeah? <laughs> right, right right so so uh come to the next question that what is the importance of sme to the national economic system right um for thailand especially uh we are the country where everyone nearly becoming can becomes an sme you know mm -hmm. uh I mean, including my prices here. Yeah. Um, SME in Thailand is very important. We they contribute a lot into the GDP of the country as well. I I can say that back in 2018, uh, SMEs contribute 36 percent to the GDP of the country. But of course, that because of the pandemic and things, so it's decreasing at the moment because of the limitations, you know, for for operating mm -hmm. the business. But still, we we marked up nearly half of the GDP. And um, from the government, they predicted that we should, um, uh, the SME would, should contribute up to 50% by the end of 2021. But I think because of the pandemic, it may be slightly lower. But of course, after the pandemic outbreaks, I think we, or the, the SME can somehow contribute to up to 50% of the GDP. And most importantly, um, you, you will notice that in Thailand, people can easily uh, decide to starting their own business, right? Mm. And you know what? It's nearly 99% of the people who are actually involving themselves at least once in their lifetime right. doing business <laughs> in Thailand. <laughs> so that is how much it's had an importance on us as a country and to right. the economies of the country. Right. So we can say that it, without the SME in Thailand, our economic system will be collapsed. Yeah, it's going to freeze. <laughs> right. I think, I think it, it, it has somewhat freezed when it comes to certain se sectors, right? Specifically tourism. Yeah. yeah. Think yeah. about yeah. big tourist destinations such as Phuket, Krabi, uh, Samui, and so on. I mean, the places are dead, right? Like, whole yeah. businesses pretty much went bust, uh, went bankrupt because... Um, because of the, the over reliance on tourism, so so now I can only imagine that the the, the SMEs specific, specifically those in the tourism sector were the ones uh, mostly uh, mostly hit by it. Yeah? And, and, and it's not just us in Thailand, you know, in in United States, oh, all over the place, yeah, all over the place, everywhere mm -hmm. we most likely depending on a lot of SMEs. Mm -hmm. um, but certain countries are more reliant than on tourism than others, yeah, and yeah. and tourism is very much one of the main, if not the main uh, sector in Thailand that's contributing to the GDP. Yeah. So from, from those importance of SME to uh, the economic system, I, I think that the surviving of SME is, is very, very impact to, 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 to every nation. Mm -hmm. So in general, what are the key success factor of SME based on your experience, Kamatan Kam, that you, you run a very big project throughout the southern part of Thailand? Um, it, it, it is a, a, a tricky question to be answered because, because I think it's dependent on how you're looking at it, but from the practitioner academics, mm -hmm. as I, mean, I, I say to myself, is as a practitioner academic, I would say that the most important thing is about the business owner is mm. the owner of the enterprise. So I would say the entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. um, but the words entrepreneur, if you're talking further, it's actually not just a manager. It's actually not just a person who owns a business. An entrepreneur is all about mindset. You know, mm. it's all about how they believe, what action they're going to make, what you know, how they yeah. recognize opportunity. It's more than yeah. a person owning a business. One hundred percent. So that is very important. That. SME has to have the entrepreneurial yeah. mindset. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're going to die out. You know, there are many people today that they are failed. They are they have to close the business because they do not know how to adapt to the change. And it's also because they copy already existing right, businesses. Right. Uh, not not just not just in one sector, but in four or five different sectors. And yeah. maybe 10, 10, 10 businesses of the same kind is being being established, and maybe one one of them, maybe one of them survive, right? Yeah, uh, because it's all about this mimic mimicking model or copying model without these people actually, these individuals, sorry, these individuals properly being educated on how to start 
and um, run a business. Mm. Yeah, that, that, that's right. There's no mimic, you know, business model. It's impossible. Right. right. And 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 based on your 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 information, we 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 know that. Uh, most of SME are already affected by so many business environments. So they need to like flexible and, and adapt themselves to respond with those kinds of changes. However, for, for the COVID-19 pandemic, I, I think that it is quite special because it's unexpected situation that normally most of SME or business person never expected about this situation. So, so uh, from, from, from your uh, work, can, can you identify how are SME affected by the COVID-19 pandemic? How they got the impact, right? How yeah. it was affected. Okay. Uh, I think it hits a lot of the SME in Thailand, especially because as I said, like as Janano said, that they, most of the SME here in Thailand, they're just copying the business mm. model from one to another. And, and it doesn't create any values. And, and they do not have any strong or strength you know, business um, mm. strength to 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 really overcome or to really uh, challenge, you know, what is happening today. So that that's why it's causing a lot of them to fail in doing business, especially with this disrupted, I would say, mm -hmm. situation that's happening to them. So it, it, of course, it affected them a lot. And um, with that, I, I would suggest that the, the impact it has on them, they actually have to, if they have entrepreneurial mindset, I said, they will learn from it. Mm -hmm. For those F and E, they will have to learn from it. They can't just reject, they cannot just close their eyes, close their ear and stay oh. at home and mm -hmm. wait for the outbreaks to end. It's impossible. If they want to survive, they need to open their eyes, listen more, uh, you're know, seeking for more opportunities or you know, for help or networking that, that you just mentioned the word before in the you it's need like, to on that. It's almost like, like whenever a new business is started, it's like they start it and they hope and pray it's going to work out without actually putting in the necessary effort. I want to see a statistic. I want to see a statistic of how much money has been lost in new start in new SMEs. So okay. you start, start, so I want to see that statistic because Hatyai alone, right? Punakan Road. How many new businesses get open on Punagod Road on literally a monthly basis? And I'm thinking, <laughs> what's going on here? You pay 30,000 baht, 30, baht a month for rent. You sign a lease for, for a year and you last for only two months or three months. Where's the where's the sense in that? There's something that, that I've always been intrigued by and I never understood. And, and, and I think that uh, and look at the other side of, of, of the impact or the effect that it has on SAP. Some of the SAPs is, does realize, you know, that, all oh, right, because I have been doing it wrong way. Um, it yeah. was just lucky, you know, that I can yeah. survive through those normal time when yeah. there's no pandemic. But now there's pandemic. Nobody is really expected. Nobody is going to know what's going to happen tomorrow yeah. or in the next 10, uh, not even 10 years, a year ahead of us, what's going to happen. Happen. Nobody's know, you know. But if they have that entrepreneurial mindset, or, or at least have that self efficacy that they can mm -hmm. overcome it, or be more resilient, you know, of what they are doing. I think somehow they will overcome this. But they have to, to really, you know, put up, do everything with all their guts to be able to to, to go through this and very um seeing how the successful people will, will do if you listen to a lot of interviews today many of big businesses enterprises who are you know um well known in the country or who are uh successful can be considered as successful if you ask them what do you think about pandemic they will say this is opportunity exactly see it as opportunity <laughs> so if you see it as an obstacle yeah. you are wrong <laughs> you okay? no. you are going to the wrong direction i would yeah. say yeah and that comes down to education i think it comes down to educating them correctly right because um many are also like if i can just do my two cents one last thing see a lot of a lot of the people that start businesses they didn't even study business so they will go study at the faculty of science or engineering and so on. They didn't don't know anything about starting a business. They never they, they never actually studied business. But right after they graduate, they start they start a business without actually going to the the proper uh, through proper education you know, and like actually training themselves to really to really know what they are doing. And this just costs so much money being lost in doing that. 
Uh, and 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 some sometimes be, because uh, the business student they they know how to calculate the risk of in investment. So when they know the risk, they yeah. they gonna be be the the risk avoidance people. How however, uh, on the other hand, from from the science students, they they don't know how how to calculate the risk, and this they have true. no idea about the risk. So they invest, they they yes. can take risk. <laughs> I'm, cl I'm glad it's not only me saying it like that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is a that is good point that you said, both of you. But I mean, you know, if you come to the right mentor, right. Um, as our faculty, I think you will see that um, it's, as I said, being an entrepreneur is not about management. It is right. more, more than that. So I think you yeah. need to come to the right, to, to get a network with the right mindset. Mm -hmm. So then right. you will be able to deliver um, the business. That you want so so Adan, beyond the effort of entrepreneur themselves uh and beyond the entrepreneurial mindset as, as as you recommended so uh in the shortcut do you have any suggestion for sme to adapt themselves in the current situation in, in a short time period okay um for 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 the quick shot mm -hmm. you know for those SME who are struggling with with what's happening today i think what they can do at the moment is to to stop and think mm -hmm. you no know, they have to scan scan back at their business you know um the swat the weaknesses opportunity and threat they need to start to thinking about what is their strength the strength in this term it doesn't mean that what are they just good at but mm -hmm. What are they better than the other? What are their key value? And they have to concentrate and presenting that. And what is the weakness that they have to improve? You know, they need to know themselves because many people, as, as you said, especially in Thailand, we, we try, try to copy and we thought that we know it, but we're not. <laughs> come back and really talking to ourselves and consider, you know, what are we really good at? What are the value that we have that's different? Because customer, when they choose, they choose the value of it. They're not just buying product. You must have something to give to them. Otherwise, you know, it's, it's, it will not fix. And, and I said, this is just a quick fix, okay? You need to come back and train yourself. And of course, you need to find a good connection or network as we all yes. often talk and mention here because this good network will bring you to the right direction if you don't know about something doesn't mean that it's not exist it doesn't mean that you cannot learn it you cannot know it it seems to be difficult at first but you know it's like a learning process so you have to go and find it and i mean actually there are many of the um the, I would say the uh, support from the governors and also from the universities or even our faculty that we can provide to you, but you just need to seek for it. Okay, so don't stop. Don't just sit at home crying and feel bad for yourself. It doesn't Or, or don't just start something without actually planning for it, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, having a plan, it's better having nothing, okay? It's, it's better. Okay, if sometimes it doesn't go as planned, but it's better to having nothing because at least you know what is your next step, okay? Yeah. What is the following one, okay? If your plan is failed, at least you learned and you, you have that solid plan that you can go back and at least know where to start asking yourself question, okay? Where did I went wrong? And then you can start again. But if with no plan, it's like a blank page. It's like kids painting, you know, with who knows what's going to turn out. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. So, so for, for our SME audience today, I, I, I'm pretty sure that you have a lot of uh, information to, to go back and to improve your business. However, finally, I would like to ask uh, Ajahn Gam uh, to encourage our SME to get through this crisis a little bit. Yeah, um, I, I, I want to share them out. I, I, for those SME, all SME who are listening to, to, the, to this um, radio station, um, I just want to share out. I, I mean, this, you, you should take this as a lesson learned. You shouldn't take it as a failure. You know, what is that thing about our society is we always go back to failure and we just, you know, stem the failure and we will think, oh, I cannot do anything, you know. I hold on to it, yeah. Just hold on to that. And it, it's, it, 
you can you should learn from it instead of you know mm. go on to it thinking about it it's just depressing you it's no good definitely, but definitely. if you go back learn about that lesson and improve from it i think that's really helpful so take this as opportunity to learn and then you know come back be stronger and i'm sure everybody can overcome you know many people are struggling about it not just you alone so if you don't know where to go you can come to our faculty you know we know how how to help you <laughs> Okay, this does not this... only apply to business, but to life as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Live and learn, <laughs> live and learn. <laughs> so those, those songs are going to come to my mind. Live and learn. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much, Atan Kam, for sharing a very uh, super information about the SME and, and give the direction to, to our SME audience to, to adapt themselves and to survive through this situation. We know that it is quite tough situation, but however, if you have uh, enough effort, try to uh, change your entrepreneurial mindset to be more open and take this opportunity to learn from, from, from the situation to find your strengths over the competitors. So we be quite sure that you can pass through this situation. Can I, can I just ask on something? Yes. There's a new term now. It's called anti-fragility. Mm -hmm. So anti it's really like, yeah, so it's not like you are, it's not just resilience. Resilience happened when there's something bad happened and you learn and you adapted to it. But anti-fragility is more like you stay strong and you just like bring it on, you know, whatever bad come, I can overcome this. You need to think like that. You need to believe like that because there's so many things that can happen today and, you know, no one can tell. So you should act like that, you know, not just preparing for, oh, sorry, not just learn from, what difficult, but prepare for it. That is important. Thank you very much, Kamat and Cam. Thank My you. Pleasure. Happy. It's fun, actually. I like it. <laughs> okay. So, everyone, have our audience, this is the, the SME series that we're going to invite the SME coach from SM, uh, from SMS or the Faculty of Management Science who have the experience to develop the SME throughout the southern part of Thailand more than five years. They can share uh, their practical information together with the academic idea. What 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 Ajahn Kem call na? academic practitioner, right? A practitioner academic. A uh, uh, practitioner academy. So. Yeah. In the next program, we're going to invite other coach to you. So please stay tuned. Who are going to share the very super information and help you to pass through this situation with me at an game and in the biz talk with the Hat Yai to Global Business Program. So, All right. Thank you very much, Ajahn Kem. Really appreciate your contribution, your thought, the insights, whatever you try to encourage and motivate all of us, Ajahn Kem. You actually motivated all of us here to move on with our life, not only with business, but your sharp word, it's pretty much hit on me as well. And you are so modest calling yourself as academic practitioner or practitioner academic, because whatever in my head, I have your name as SME guru. That's what I actually had that in my head, you that's, know, all the that's time. That's a very, very, very accurate, uh, accurate, um, accurate comparison. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think, can we just rename you? Like, as an SME guru, just don't have to be modest about it. Make it for the next SME series as well. I believe you have more guru coming in, right, Ajahn Game? Yes, so, you are. We, gonna level you as that <laughs> all right then so appreciate that Naka. so everyone to Tanka, thank you very much for listening and follow our program hajai to global business with me ajan nana and me ajan Anu. and me ajan game and ajan ajan game <laughs> so we all fuck ajan game we would like to um uh, signing off for now. We wish you guys have benefits from this episode. For sure, you have one. And please stay tuned for SME series in our next episode. Ka. Thank you all. Stay safe. Sawadee ka. Sawadee ka. Sawadee ka. Sawadee ka.